guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Molly if you're new here and today we're going to do a full face of only NYX makeup. And I will say it's a lot of hits and misses, so yeah. <laughs> if you want to see how I created this look using only NYX products and a lot of new products, then keep on watching. So I have a table in front of me with all NYX products that I haven't tried before. So this will be really interesting. Uh, I think I'm going to stick with kind of my usual routine, like how I do my makeup. So yeah, let's go! So I'm going to start with my brows and I'm going to use the Fill and Fluff Eyebrow Pomade Pencil. And as I said, I haven't tried any of these products before, so I don't really know <laughs> how this works. But we will see, we will see. And this is, by the way, in the shade Ash Brown. Okay. So the tip is really like the Anastasia Brow Definer. Whoa, okay. <laughs> and on the other side you have a comb. Looks like a horse comb. <laughs> um, we will see how this works, I guess. I don't really know what to do with this. I... I don't know. Um, I feel like this is just making it more messy and more time consuming uh, than how I usually do my brows. I usually use a much thinner pencil. And a regular spoolie. Okay, so my thought is actually that uh, why do we need this one? <laughs> uh, why is this brush like this? I don't understand. It's really hard to like get the products around, but I guess it leaves like a more soft uh, look to the brows. Okay, this just get worse. <laughs> uh, so I think I'm just going to... Uh, this is probably cheating, but I don't care. I'm just going to take the spoolie from my regular brow pencil. To just get my hairs up. And then I'm just going to fill in where I need it. And the sad part is that I think that this brow pencil could be really good if you just had a regular spoolie. It's so much quicker to just brush through your brows with this than this one because half the time I'm using the wrong side and then I have to check and I... no, 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 no. Okay, so I'm going to clean these up later. They look so <laughs> crazy right now. But yeah, it's a start, I guess. <laughs> so before I go in with eyeshadow, I'm just going to go in with primer. And I'm going to use the Bear With Me Hemp Chanvre Radiant Perfecting Primer. <laughs> okay, this doesn't pick up on camera that well, but it's really a cute light pink color. And it says that it's sensitive, fr sensitive skin friendly. 24 hour hydration, wear alone or under makeup, skin looks luminous and rested. Yeah, it's very illuminating. And it feels really good on the skin. So I have to prime my eyelids and I bought this uh, foundation palette, so I think I'm just going to grab a shade from there. So this is the Pro foundation palette, and this contains 16 foundation shades. So I think I'm just going to go into this shade right here. Oh, they seem really smooth. So now I get to clean up my brows as well. So maybe they will look better when they are not so messy and this foundation palette is 
actually really nice. I like it a lot so far. So it's much better, but I feel like I need to fill in some spots. So I'm just going to put uh, foundation on the other eye, fill in my eyebrows, and then I'll be back. And now I'm just going to go in and set my eyelids with a setting powder, and I'm going to use the Can't Stop, Won't Stop setting powder in the shade Light. And now we're going to go into the eyeshadows. So this is the Mythic Petals in Dark Mystic. Mystic. There you have it. And of course, I'm going to go into the greens and uh, I think this is so gorgeous and I, mm, I don't really know what to do. But I know that I'm going to start with this. This is color number two and I'm going to use this as my transition color. So I'm just going to start on the outer part and just drag it into the inner corner. And I think I'm going to just go in with that color one more time to build the pigment up a bit more. Mm -mm -mm. These colors are actually, or <laughs> at least that color is really easy to work with. And I feel like that blended actually really nicely. I think I'm going to go into that green shade. So this is shade number 8. And I'm going to just apply this with a pencil brush. I'm going to start from the outer corner and just working my way in. And I'm like following the socket of my eyeball. Okay, so now I'm just going to try to blend this out. Really curious to see how these two shades blend together. And I think I'm going in one more time to build up the color on the outer half of my eye and then blending again this actually turned out pretty good I feel like this color was more difficult to blend and that it's more I don't know if you can tell if I come closer I feel like it's washed out by the lights but that it's like it's some areas here where it won't like get as smooth. So I'm going in again <laughs> with that pencil brush and I'm just pressing it on the outer corner and also in the crease. And I think I'm going to go in with a smaller blending brush. This is the Sigma E45. And by the way, if you want to see the brushes that I use on a daily basis, you can watch this video here where I go through all my favorite brushes. I don't really know if this is going to make it muddy or not, but I'm going to go in with a clean pencil brush in that first shade because I feel like I lost it a bit. And just go through the edges here. Okay, I don't feel like that green color is liking that I'm going in more times. Now you can see it here that it's not that pretty. That's sad. Okay, I'm going to stop now and I'm going to do a cut crease or a half cut crease. So I'm going to go into that same shade again from the foundation palette and then I'm just going to cut this bitch up. And then I'm going to go in with a new pencil brush and first I'm, <laughs> first I'm going to go in with this shade which is shade number one, I guess. <laughs> and I'm just going to add this to the inner corner. And I'm going to try to do a gradient here so I can try out more of the shimmers. Then I'm going to go into this shade, shade number 
Bakery. <laughs> this is so stupid. Uh, I wish they had names on them. And then I'm going to place this in the middle here. And then of course I'm going to go into the green shimmer. Shade number four. Okay, no, that's not shade number four. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Shade number seven. <laughs> And this will be on the last bit of the cut crease and I'm just going to blend all these shimmers like seamlessly and then I'm going to go in with this <laughs> pencil brush again in the regular green shade and just tap some to blend the matte with the shimmer so really lightly with really small amount of product Okay, I like this. Mm. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Okay, here we are. I'm really happy with the eyeshadow. I really like the shimmers. I mean, they could have been more intense. But at the same time, this palette is really affordable. And I'm really happy with getting to this <laughs> place. Um, yeah, should we move on to the liner? Yes! And I'm going to use the That's the Point Hella Fine Artsy... No, Artistry Liner. <laughs> oh, it's small! It's really small! Oh my god! So I had the um, Epic Ink Liner before. Uh, that didn't really go so well for me because it just... Yeah, it was a mess. But I think I'm just going to really carefully line my lash line and then I will try to do a wing and see where <laughs> that goes because I'm not really good at that so this is really good for really thin lines as you can see uh, yeah I like it a lot so far This was actually really easy to use and it's it's not like dry but it doesn't have a lot of product at once so you kind of have to build it up a bit but I feel like this is much easier to use than the Epic Ink Liner and it's tinier so it's more comfortable to use you know around your eyes and also it's a bit harder so it's easier to control I really like this one I have never done a wing line this good so fast in my entire life I think okay so this is the biggest hit yet really recommend so now I'm just going to curl my lashes and apply mascara and I'm going to use the NYX on the rise volume lift mascara it says that 95% so instant volume and 94% so instant lift and my eyelashes are really tiny and really straightforward so I can use both the lift and some volume <laughs> so we're going to see how this works Okay, I actually like this a lot. The only downfall or the only flaw is that the applicator is kind of hard. So if you go in really rough, it can be uncomfortable. But I really liked it. And it separated the lashes so good. I'm actually impressed. My lashes are standing straight up. I love it. Okay, now we're going to move on to the face makeup. First, I think I'm just going to clean up under my liner so we don't get eyeshadow in our foundation. So I'm just going to go in with that shade that I've already used. There, and then the liner also gets so much sharper. Ooh, ooh. And now I'm going to go in with foundation and I'm going to use the new Born to Glow Naturally Radiant Foundation in the shade Vanilla. I hope that this shade matches me pretty good. I got my mom to kind of just pick the one that she thought matched me the best. So I'm just going to start with 
this and I'm just going to go in with a brush first so I think this foundation is a more medium coverage mm -mm, it doesn't say but I think it's a medium coverage okay I actually didn't like to apply this with the brush so I'm going to go over to my Sigma sponge actually looks really good now and since this is a medium coverage you can still see some of my breakouts through this so I'm going to try to apply some more to see if we can build this up so I'm just going to take some foundation on the back of my hand just take a little bit just go over the areas where I feel like I need some more coverage I think it's a little better but it's definitely not gone now I'm going to go back into the foundation palette and I'm going to pick one of these shades to be my contour. Okay, I'm going to try this one and it could be a total disaster. We will see. We will see. Okay, that's really orange. Maybe I will like mix these two and see if it gets better uh, this is going to be a mess <laughs> I'm just going in with a really small amount because I see that I okay this is too much ah uh, trying to go in with a small amount okay I'm just going to try to work this into the skin and we'll just see how <laughs> where this takes me I think that it's weird that it's only, I feel like it's almost only warm tones in here. I don't know, I could be wrong. I could just be a bad color chooser. I think I'm just going to go over with the sponge to blend these more together. There we go. Okay, okay. Not that bad, Molly. Not that bad. Okay, I actually like this a lot right now but i had to go over with my foundation to like not be an oompa loompa so i don't okay great and i also forgot to <laughs> i forgot to buy concealer so i'm going to use the foundation palette for concealer as well so i'm going to i think i'm going to go into this color And then I'm just taking the beauty sponge to blend this out. So for concealer, this actually worked out great, but <laughs> the colors were just too orange for me to use as a contour. Okay, so my face looks really light right now. But that is because the products that I've used are really luminous, so I think it's going to get better when I apply some setting powder and this is with like this sifter I don't know if I like this or not and I'm going to just take some on my sponge and just go under my eye I feel like this thing here, the holes they are just making it really messy here and stupidly enough I haven't closed this drawer under me so now it's full of powder but that's okay Okay, so this powder was actually really nice when I just got some out, but it's really messy, so I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it works really well, but it's a freaking mess. Now I have the powder all over my pants, all over the table, <laughs> all over everything. I just feel like it's much easier to control how much you use with the uh, Huda Beauty Powder or the Laura Mercier Powder. And now we're going to move on to powder bronzer and I'm going to use the California Beaming Bronzer in the shade, the golden one. This is huge. <laughs> Hopefully it's really good. So it looks like it has a little bit of shimmer in it. Hmm. 
It actually looks really good. And yeah, it could be less orange. I mean, I'm not really that tan. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> This was really great until now. I kind of wish that this bronzer would be less pigmented or that I would just go in with less bronzer. <laughs> so when I saw this online, it looked like it wouldn't be so warm. So I'm kind of disappointed, but you know, again, that could be just my bad color matching skills. But yeah, this is definitely a bit too warm for me. And next, of course, I'm going to go in with some highlighter. I'm going to use the Born to Glow highlighter in the shade Stand Your Ground. Okay, it looks way better than I thought. I was kind of afraid that it would be a kind of ashy color, even though I'm really pale. And I think I'm just going to really go for it today. Okay, so this went really well. And of course I had to include a blush. Uh, so this is the Sweet Cheeks Glow. So this is also an illuminating blush, so I'm going to glow <laughs> so much. <laughs> this is in the shade Fig. It's Seriously, so long since I've tried a new blush, so... Oof. Ah. Okay, I thought that this was a bit lighter than it is, but yeah, we're going to try it anyways. I'm just going to go in with a really, really light hand. Okay. I just feel like this might be too dark for me that it will look muddy Ooh. okay i wow oh. this is not for me <laughs> i feel like i'm glowing so freaking much i also feel like i applied so much of that blush oh. okay this glow is crazy <laughs> but it's okay so before I forget it and just finish this look, I'm going to set my brows and I'm going to use the Bear With Me Hemp, yeah, that word I didn't know how to pronounce, brow setter. Ooh, that's so tiny and cute. <sighs> okay, I'm sweating when I, that blush really, yeah, it's there. So yeah, I don't know what I feel about this. I guess we'll have to see when it dries, but right now I just feel like it doesn't do very much. And I feel like also this spoolie is too small. And lastly, I'm going to put on some lipstick and I'm going to use the lingerie push-up long-lasting lipstick and this is in the shade embellishment so this is actually one of the products that i'm most excited about and i don't know why because i didn't like the original lingerie liquid lipsticks those were terrible i think but yeah i have high hopes for this one. Oh my god <laughs> i haven't done my uh eyeshadow under my eyes okay i'm going to do that after i've applied this one it's kind of tingly is it supposed to be that i don't know it doesn't say anything about that but apparently it's oh here we go it's also with a char sharpener <laughs> a sharpener Not too bad. Um, I actually like this a lot better than the liquid lipsticks. But it's kind of... It feels really creamy when you apply it and then it feels like... Matte. 
and I don't get the tingly thing because yeah I don't know it doesn't say that it's going to plump your lashes lashes <laughs> your lips but yeah we'll see uh, I don't hate it it's refreshing but yeah I don't see the point but now I'm going to do the last of my eyeshadow and I'm going to dip back into this palette so I think I'm going to go into that first shade that we used this one to just tie the look together so yeah, I'm just going to apply this under here And now I'm just going to go back into that light shimmer and I'm going to apply some more of that in the inner corner here. Mm -mm. Okay, and I almost forgot setting spray. This one is actually the only product that I've used before and this is the Bear With Me Prime Set Refresh Multitasking Spray. As I said, I've used this for some time now and I actually like it a lot. Uh, it says that it's going to hydrate your skin for 8 hours and I feel like that is kind of true. I don't know. And it also says that it's going to make your makeup last longer and I don't know about that. Uh, <laughs> I feel like the All Nighter Setting Spray holds my makeup much better. But yeah, so now I'm just going to apply some lashes and then I'll be back to tell you my thoughts on the rest of the products. So yeah guys, this is the finished look using only NYX products and only new NYX products for me at least. So we had a lot of hit and misses. It was, <laughs> this was really all over the place. <laughs> but it was so fun to film. Um, if I was going to recommend anything from this video, I would recommend the eyeshadow palette and the uh, eyeliner. Those are at least my favorites. So what I'm going to recommend you not to buy is the Aura pencil, not my jam. The setting powder, this was really messy and yeah, no thanks, no thanks. And the blush. Of course, if you like a really illuminating blush, why not? But I felt like it was just too much and also it applied kind of patchy. So I had to go over with the beauty blender a lot to kind of even it out. So now it's okay, but yeah, it's no, I'm pro I probably won't use that again, I think. So if you have tried any of these products, please let me know what you think down below. And don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you next time guys.